year was 1988, April 18th. I was a young university student attending a, a Baptist college in uh, the United States. And I was sitting in my dorm room one night, and I had heard two young men run down the hallway asking anybody if they would like to attend a revival at a local church. And I had been at the university for three months. I hadn't found a church home yet. And so I decided to myself, why don't I go? Maybe I'll meet some people and maybe find a church home. So I told the young men, um, hey, I would like to attend with you the revival. And they said, okay, um, the time is in about an hour and it's across the street at the local church called University Baptist Church. And so I got ready and I went to the church. And when we, when we arrived, the congregation was completely packed with people. There was an empty row in the back seat, so I sat down in the back row and listened to the sermon. Um, I, I honestly can't recall anything of the, of the message that the, the pastor preached, except for one thing that he did um, say at the end of the service. He asked the congregation if they had ever prayed to receive a miracle in their life. And I was sitting there in the church pew thinking to myself, the, the pastor is very bold and brazen for asking the congregants if they'd ever prayed for a miracle to happen. So that night I went back to my dorm room and I sat down on my bed, opened my Bible up, read some, and then I closed my eyes and I prayed to God. I said, God, if you are real, show me that you are watching over me in some way. Show me that you're watching over me in some way. And I closed the Bible, turned on the lights, and I went to bed. Well, three days later, it was April 21st, 1988. I was going to turn 19 years old that day. And when I woke up, my roommate told me that he and some friends wanted to, wanted to drive me to um, a city called Oklahoma City to attend an arts festival for my birthday. And I was thinking to myself, that might be a nice time. So I said, sure, I'll go. So that afternoon, we all got in the car and drove the 35 to 40 minute drive to Oklahoma City. Well, before I, we, we drove, I actually grabbed my camera and $5 thinking I'm going to get some film when we get to the festival and take some pictures. So we arrived to the festival and we got out of the car and I, I began to look for a store that sold some film for my camera. And I looked around at many stores, little booths at the fair, and nobody sold film for, for a, a 110 camera, which is a film camera. And so I told my roommate and, and my friends, um, y'all um, stay at the fair and I'll go downtown Oklahoma City and try to find some film. So I began walking downtown and I saw this big hotel. I thought to myself, maybe they'll sell some film in that hotel. I remember there was a big limousine parked in front of it. And um, so I walked in the hotel room and I saw a little store. I walked into the store and I saw some film for the camera. So I politely asked the attendant um, if she had some film for my camera. She pointed to the film and I asked her how much it was and she said it was like $5.50. Well, I only had a $5 bill. And I was kind of, kind of bummed. I was like, oh, I can't even buy the film. I want the film. So I walked out of the hotel room. I, no, not the hotel room. I walked out of the hotel lobby, and as soon as I got walked out the door, I felt this pull in my spirit. It's like this voice was telling me to turn left and walk down a little, a little more ways. So I went left, and beside the hotel, hidden away, was a little convenience store. And so I thought to myself, well, maybe they'll have some film. So I walked in the door. I remember opening the door to the little convenience store, and the, and the little bell was ringing on the door. And I walked in, and there was a nice old man behind the counter, and I asked him if he had some film for a 110 camera. He smiled and said, yes, we sure do. He pointed to three rolls. And I said, how much is it? He said, $4.25, 26 cents. And I was like, no, I'm sorry, it was $3.26. And so I was like, oh, great, I will take a roll. So I gave him my $5, and he gave me my, my change, which was like a dollar and loose, and loose change from the $3.26. And I looked at the dollar, 
And written on the dollar, somebody had written with an ink pen, happy birthday. And then beside it was the number seven. And I looked on the back of the dollar bill and it said, Cristo de Ama, Sigelo. And I, I looked at the front again and I said, hey, I told the attendant, hey, it's my birthday. And this dollar bill says, happy birthday. What a coincidence. So I left and as I was leaving, I felt the spirit of God go through my, my uttermost being. It's like he was telling me, I'm watching over you. And then I was reminded of the prayer that I prayed three days earlier in my dorm room. I asked for a miracle to happen in my life. I said, God, show me that you are watching over me in some way. Well, on my birthday, I get the dollar with happy birthday written on it. Truly, God gave me a birthday card on my birthday. He showed me that he was watching over me. Later, I came to find out what the Spanish meant on the back of the dollar bill. Cristo de ama, Christ loves you. Siguelo, follow him or follow me. Jesus told me that he loves me. He said, happy birthday. And then he said to follow him. So that's what I'm doing. He led me today to make this story for everyone out there to hear that God does perform miracles. Shortly thereafter, I found a, a local church who I, that I got active with, and I began to serve the Lord. And it was in this little church, Calvary Baptist Church in, o in Shawnee, Oklahoma, that I began to truly understand who the Lord was and what his intentions were for my life. And that God truly is a God of miracles. I learned that there in that little church. And that's where I gave my life to do full-time ministry for the Lord Jesus Christ. So, all of you out there that don't believe that God does miracles, well, he does miracles. He gave me a miracle. He gave me a birthday card. And he will do the same for you. Ask him right now. Say, Lord God, help me to believe in you. Send me a sign. Uh, I, I pray for a miracle to happen in my life today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray this. Amen. God bless you on this day. This is Truth Watcher, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.